Okay, that's So Damn Fine by Joanne. So let's have a look uh, at the information um, in Wikipedia. Um, about Joanne, of course. And um, I try to find um, information about Rook Hall, um, the other artist. Um, but I can't find uh, the Wikipedia. And there's not much about him. But I found a, a bit. So we're going to read about him later. So let's have a look uh, at Joanne's uh, Wikipedia information now. So her full name is Joanne Ruth Charlotte Acom. And she was born in 1978 and mononymously known as Joanne only. She's an Australian singer, songwriter, born in Melbourne. And um, Joanne's first single, uh, Jackie, we're going to listen to that right after this. Uh, was released in late 1998 so that was about the time when i moved to australia actually so uh well actually january 99 that's when i arrived in australia the first time it reached number three on the aria charts and became the highest selling single in australia by an australian artist during the 12 month period of eligibility for the 99 aria music awards for jackie joanne was credited as b.z uh, featuring Joanne or Joanne BZ. I don't know why. Yeah. I remember now uh, looking at the uh, music video and it wasn't Joanne. It was Joanne BZ. Yeah. So I thought she was um, singing with uh, some other dude or something, you know. So now I realize so she actually changed her nickname, her um, uh, artist name. So from Joanne BZ to just Joanne um, because apparently she was referring to the original performance of the song Jackie which was Blue Zone BZ. She released the singles Pack Your Bags and Are You Ready in 1999. Her next release was featuring on the track Breaking the, uh, sorry, on the track Breaking There's No Stopping Us by Islanda for the Walkboy movie in 2000. I've got this CD as well, the Walkboy soundtrack. And I love that song, Islanda featuring Joanne. There's no break, there's no stopping us. Na na na. Yeah. Da -da -na 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 -na. Yeah. Breaking, there's no stopping us. Okay, back to Joanne. Her solo album, Do Not Disturb, which is this one. Do Not Disturb. That's her um, solo album. I think that's the, the first. I think it's the debut solo album. Uh, was released in 2001 after being a work in progress for two and a half years. So pretty much it's a compilation of a couple of uh, Joanne's singles uh, that included uh, Pack Your Bags, Are You Ready and Jackie. Her two singles released in 99 and three new singles, So Damn Fine, I Don't Know and Busted. Uh, they, they were all included in, in the CD, in this city. It was produced and recorded in Dance World Studio, South Melbourne. Okay, so um, her performances, she performed a number of her hits at Melbourne's Rumba along with other artists on Saturday, 17th November 2001 at Dockland Stadium. She performed her hit So Damn Fine in front of a live audience across Australia at one of the Big Brother Australia 2001 live eviction shows during closing credits. Uh, Joanne joined the Venga Boys 2016 national tour as a special local guest alongside Tina Cousins, Sonic, and Wickfield. Joanne performed a number of her songs, including hit single Jackie and a selection of cover versions, including C plus C music, CNC music factories, Gonna Make You Sweat, Everybody Dance Now, at the Pump 90s dance party at Ark in Sydney in 2017. Joanne recorded and released a duet version of Janet Jackson's Together Again with Australian singer Greg Gold for his 2020 duets album 19. Uh, duets album 1998 okay I don't get it okay so I think it was released in 2020 the album is titled 1998 I think uh, so that would make it um, Joanne's latest performance because that was just last year uh, covering Janet Jackson's together again with Australian singer Greg Gold um, apart from that there's nothing else about Joanne she only released this album 
again, it's such a waste. I mean, I think, you know, we've also um, listened to a couple of CDs just over the past few weeks. Uh, great artists, great songs, great music, but uh, it was a one-hit wonder. So I guess Joanne was kind of a one-hit wonder. So she was really big back then, really. Like, especially with the song Jackie. Um, I remember the song was played all across the uh, dance clubs in, in Sydney. And um, so she was really big, actually. But I don't know what's happening. Yeah. So um, I think that's all. Uh, she never released anything anymore. So let's just listen to um, the song Jackie, as I mentioned just now. Uh, it's uh, up to now, I think that's the most famous song of hers okay so this is jackie so uh we're gonna listen to more of her songs later but let's listen to this one still in kumang channel kumang kumpul bareng yo Okay, that's Jackie by Joanne, and as I promised you, I'm going to play another song by um, Joanne. So this is a song called Busted. Okay, Busted by Joanne. And from Joanne, let's move on to Ruckle or Ruckle or R-U-C-L. You know what I'm talking about when I show you the CD. That's the CD. Okay, so R-U-C-L, Ruckle. Anyway, uh, as I said, I, I can't find much about him, but there's a bit of information about him. Uh, this is what it says. R-U-C-L, Ruckle, a.k.a. Reuben Campbell. Now I know why it is Ruckle. It's Ru from Reuben and CL as in Campbell. So Reuben Campbell is uh, one of the most exciting artists to emerge from Australia's thriving hip hop scene. But this, I, I believe this is past tense because I bought this like ages ago, 2011. So <laughs> this was released in 2011. So uh, it's 10 years ago. So uh, he was, I guess, uh, one of the most exciting artists to emerge from Australia's thriving hip hop scene. He's very Australian hip hop, yeah. His talent is evident on every track of his debut album, Straight Down the Line. Once again, that's the album, Straight Down the Line. Hailing from Melbourne with Jamaican and Australian heritage. So he's like half Jamaican, half Australian, I guess. Um, Rukal is an MC uh, with truly universal appeal. Okay, that's all basically. But I found this um, a biography um, uh, from Last FM. Uh, website. Uh, it's got a bit more, so I'm just going to read for you guys. R U C L Rukal, aka Ruben Campbell, once again. Um, okay. Oh, that's pretty much what I just read. So that's actually taken from from here. So Rukal has been performing in various capacities for some time. Let me just have a look. When was this um, posted? This was posted in 2009. 2000. How could it be? But wait. But this one. This CD was released in 2011. So I'm lost. Anyway, let me just continue to read this. Rukal has been performing. My guess is maybe he was um, interviewed by Last, F Last FM um, before he released this one. No, but this was. <laughs> this article just mentioned about his debut album straight down the line. So I'm not sure why this was edited in, in 2009. So I don't know. Let's just have a read. Again, so he's been performing in various capacities for some time throughout the years. He has built a reputation within the hip hop community, supporting international acts such as Jurassic 5, Farside, Matt Professor, Lee Scratch Perry, Supernatural, and DJ Craze, and more. Uh, Rukul has been making his presence felt in the underground scene since the early 90s. His first release being a track with the group Mama's Funk in 95. 
through the 90s, Aruko has been honing his style um, through much live performance. His experience has been brought with projects like Guerrilla Style Tactics. Okay, not interested in this. Let's just move on. Um, okay, his skills and musical background are evident in his diverse lyrical styles. He moves effortlessly between rugged hip hop, between rugged hip hop vocals, Jamaican dancehall, Sean Paul style, and soulful R and B. Mm, not so much to me. It's just really Aussie kind of hip hop, which is good. I mean, I I, I still like Aussie hip hop anyway, but. You gotta be careful when you write this sort of stuff, you know? Like, people will just kind of, you know, kind of compare you with these artists, you know, with this Sean Paul style, you know, and soulful R&B, as I said. I thought he's R&B, but, like, I mean, he's very hip-hop, you know? So he doesn't really sing R&B. To me, R&B is more like, um, Joe, you know? So that's R&B, you know? Um, Asha, you know? Uh, Neo, okay? So this is, like hip-hop you know but anyway um so yeah you got to be careful because you, you you're going to be compared with these people so but it's it's not his fault this is last fm interview i'm i suppose his exceptional talent was recognized by invader records which you know released this album who immediately signed him to their label after spotting him at an open mic session during uk duo rodney p and skits show in melbourne rukul says mate uh numerous trips to Jamaica to visit family and friends over the years. In the 90s, he studied music in Kingston at the Jamaican School of Music. Rukul's mother, Jigzy, who is a Jamaican-born, has been a big influence in his musical upbringing and appears on two tracks on his album. His mother is a singer, dancer, choreographer, and is part of Jamaica Iry. The educational studies show that two schools and Ruben comes from a very creative family. His sister is a singer and dancer in large theatre productions, and his late father was a renowned artist. Okay, I don't think this 